Today I'm gonna to share with you guys my keto menu that I'm gonna feed my family of four for the week, but it's gonna be super easy because I'm gonna make up a bunch of freezer meals. I love to prep up freezer meals because it's one of those things that you can batch up. You can batch cook on one day and then make up a bunch of meals to have either throughout the week or throughout the month, or even just to like pick and choose when you want to throw something in if you forgot to plan out dinner for that day. But this week I know it's going to be busy for our family. So I'm prepping up all these meals on one day and we're going to have them throughout the week. I have four recipes that I want to share with you guys. Three of them you can either cook in your slow cooker, instant pot, or the stove top. And one of them we're just going to put in the oven. That one is a keto chicken chicken pot pie. To help me make these keto freezer meals, I've partnered with Freezer Fit for this video. Freezer Fit is a membership website where you have access to all different kinds of freezer meals, where it has all the instructions on there for you, a huge range of recipes. You can choose from any variety of cuisine. They have keto, low carb, sugar-free, gluten-free, vegan, all different sorts, and it makes it so easy. Everything is laid out for you, including the ingredients, instructions, how you would cook it in a slow cooker after it's frozen or an instant pot after it's frozen. And it has the nutrition facts on there as well. I was super impressed with this website. They have a huge selection of keto recipes on there to make my life so easy when it comes to coming up with healthy keto dinners for my family. I chose three recipes that I want to share with you guys today. We're going to be making a keto pot roast, keto mac and cheese chili, and a spicy sausage soup. I'm also going to share with you guys my recipe for keto chicken pot pie. If you guys want to try freezer fit, I'll have a link down below that you guys can click on. It's freezerfit.com slash keto focus, but you'll get access to a free online cooking class as well as a cookbook where you can learn how to prep up 10 keto freezer meals in 30 minutes. The recipe I'm gonna start with first is a keto pot roast. Now I'm gonna store my freezer meals in Ziploc bags. You can use a glass container or plastic container too, whatever is more convenient, or if you're eco-conscious, then I would go that route. I'm gonna first start by labeling my plastic bag. Now I printed out these on nifty little labels and I'll have it listed down below before the label maker that I use to do this, but I want to put this on here, all the information, just to make it easy when I pull it out to cook it that day, I'll have all the instructions on there of what I need to add add how to do it if I'm going to use a slow cooker or an instant pot how to cook it from frozen versus cooking it from thawed plus it will have all the nutrition facts on there so I can easily plug that into my fitness pal so I can calculate my macros for the day now to help me add in all of my ingredients I found these nifty little freezer bag holders from Amazon I'll have those linked down below for you as well but to start we're going to add all of our ingredients in so you're going to need around two pounds of a beef chuck roast one cup of beef broth one tablespoon of garlic powder, or you can use minced garlic. I'm actually using garlic paste in this case. Two teaspoons of salt. Two teaspoons of liquid aminos or fish sauce. I'm gonna be using fish sauce. Two teaspoons of paprika. A teaspoon of onion powder. A teaspoon of black pepper. Two teaspoons of rosemary. Two teaspoons of dried thyme. A teaspoon of dried oregano. A half a teaspoon of basil and a half a teaspoon of parsley. We're gonna add that all to our Ziploc bag, seal it up, and we're gonna freeze that. Now this recipe also has some ingredients that will go in separately. It has some diced up vegetables. So you'll need two cups of radishes that you've cut into quarters, along with one cup of chopped celery. They said to freeze these separately, so these are going in a smaller Ziploc bag, and it'll be frozen alongside the pot roast. Now for the week when we have this, I'm cooking it in the slow cooker. They do recommend thawing it out first before you put it into your slow cooker. You're gonna slow cook it for six to eight hours and then two hours before it's done, we're gonna add in those frozen vegetables. This turned out really good. My family enjoyed it. We actually had it over some mashed cauliflower and it was one recipe my kids actually requested for me to make again. I'll have this full recipe down below for you guys, but if you guys want to be able to print it out, head over to the Freezer Fit website. And next up, since it's getting kind of chilly outside, we're gonna make some soup. So this is an Italian sausage and cauliflower rice soup. After I've labeled out all of our instructions for preparation, it's time to add everything to our bag. So in our freezer bag, we're gonna add in one pound of Italian sausage, one 14 ounce can of diced tomatoes, two cups of cauliflower rice, four cups of baby spinach, a quarter cup of olive oil, one cup of diced onion, a cup of diced celery, 
a tablespoon of tomato paste, a tablespoon of garlic powder, or in this case I'm using garlic paste, a teaspoon each of basil, dry oregano, and parsley, a teaspoon of red pepper flakes along with onion powder, one and a half teaspoons of salt, and a half a teaspoon of black pepper. We're gonna mix these together and put it in our freezer. Now I'm choosing to cook this in my Instant Pot and I'm gonna cook it from frozen. So I'm gonna put down this whole brick of frozen Italian sausage and cauliflower rice soup into my Instant Pot and I'm going to saute that for about five minutes and then flip it over and then we're gonna add in six cups of beef broth and then pressure cook it on high for 20 minutes. After it's done cooking, we're gonna stir in some Parmesan cheese and this was excellent. It was just like a hint of spice and perfect with that cauliflower rice. You can't even tell that there's cauliflower rice in this recipe. Next up, we're gonna be making a chili mac and cheese. Into the freezer bag, I'm gonna add one pound of ground beef, a 14 ounce can of tomato puree, six cups of cauliflower florets, a half a cup of olive oil, half a cup of diced yellow onion, a tablespoon of garlic powder, or I'm using garlic paste, two tablespoons of chili powder, two teaspoons of ground cumin, a teaspoon of onion powder, a teaspoon of salt, and a teaspoon of black pepper, a half a teaspoon of paprika and a quarter teaspoon of cayenne. Mix that together and we're gonna freeze it. And this is one recipe I'm also gonna cook in my Instant Pot, but there are instructions on the Freezer Fret website for slow cooker. The last keto freezer meal that I'm gonna show you how to make today is a keto chicken pot pie. We're gonna start by making our chicken pot pie filling first. So in a large skillet, I'm gonna add two tablespoons of butter over medium, medium high heat, and then saute a half a cup of diced onion. three cloves of garlic that's minced. I'm just gonna use garlic paste. One teaspoon of thyme, eight ounces of mushrooms, one cup of diced celery, and then I'm also gonna add in half of a cup of carrots and half a cup of green beans. Don't get mad at me on the carrots. I just think I love the color and it's a classic thing to add to chicken pot pie. And really a half a cup of carrots adds hardly any carbs. So you can totally omit this if you want, if you're just anti-carrot and just go with either more green beans or just omit it completely. But I really think that you guys should just splurge a little bit, especially this time of year when we just want some comfort food. You wanna cook that until all your vegetables are tender. It'll take about five minutes. Next, you wanna add in our thickener. You can use either half a tablespoon of coconut flour or two tablespoons of arrowroot powder. Stir that in and then we're gonna slowly whisk in one cup of chicken broth. Continue cooking that until your mixture starts to thicken and then add in three cups of cooked shredded chicken. And I always keep some cooked shredded chicken around. It's one thing that I actually make up in my Instant Pot. I'll have that listed down below on how you can easily make up shredded chicken. And I store it in my freezer just for instances like this that make really, really quick meals where I could just grab some chicken, mix in some other ingredients, and bam, you have dinner. Now to make it creamy, we're gonna add in four ounces of cream cheese that's cubed up and three tablespoons of parsley. Mix that together until it's combined and then we're gonna set it aside and work on our keto pie crust. For this keto pie crust, I'm gonna be making a fathead dough just because I like the savoriness of the cheese from the fathead dough. It pairs really well with this keto chicken pot pie. To make the keto fathead dough pie crust, we're gonna add three and a half cups of mozzarella cheese to a bowl and we're gonna melt it down in the microwave at 60 second intervals until it's melted. Then to a food processor, we're gonna add one and a half cups of almond flour, one egg, one teaspoon of baking powder, and then we're gonna add in that melted mozzarella cheese, and half a teaspoon of salt. You wanna pulse this until everything is combined and a dough ball forms. But if you don't have a food processor, you could actually use an electric mixer. It's just gonna take longer. I've even mixed up all these ingredients by hand, using my hands or a spoon. It's just, it's kinda of harder to do. The um, food processor is so easy. Next, we're gonna roll out our pie dough in between two layers of parchment paper. I'm 
gonna pour in my chicken pot pie mixture into my freezer container first, and then just lay down a layer of the pie crust. Poke it with some holes just to give it some room to vent when it cooks. And then cover it and pop it in your freezer. And then when it comes time to baking your keto chicken pot pie, you wanna do it in a 375 degree oven and to cook it from frozen, it'll take you around 40 to 45 minutes. Mm -hmm. 